is a wrap up. Allison and Grant, how are you guys doing? I'm very well, especially well, thank you. Yeah, ever since I came outside this morning and I saw the weather, I'm happy. I I'm know. absolutely happy. That's what we were saying. That oh, yeah. literally, I'm, it just makes everyone. It does. Yeah. My roommate questioned today. She said, I shouldn't have to go to class when it's so nice outside. I Which skipped I it agree. this morning. Oh, oh, oh. I skipped it. Is that I, uh, I looked out Whoa. the window and I thought, Full disclosure, this is going to be a good see. day. So I just <laughs> stayed in bed and, and uh, there's well, really no excuse for it. You'd think that if you skipped class, you'd use that time to go outside. I know. I don't think well, so. Well, whatever. It looks like you've got color outside, but I guess no. Maybe not. I didn't even hear that. One, of, one of my <laughs> favorite things about when the weather is getting better, it's when I can go into my car and not freeze. Yes, that's because the best that, thing. No matter how cold it is outside, if you go inside that car and it's freezing, it's the worst feeling. Worst it is. Now, it feels even more sub-zero. Cross yes. your fingers, because last, I said this to Taylor in the opening, it, last year it snowed after St. Patrick's Day. So cross your Heaven fingers. Forbid. While you're crossing your fingers, Grant, tell us what's going on with Hype. Hype, okay. Well, we mentioned earlier on Relay for Life, which is a really, really awesome event. Hype is doing a very cool promo. Check us out. We're going to be doing laps around the university. We have a devised a little runaround from Natsai to the bus stop to alumni. And we're going to kind of have um, people handing out drinks and stuff. And we're going to have rave cards. It'll be a really cute fundraiser. And definitely check out Relay for Life. That stuff's awesome. 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., I believe Absolutely, it is. Absolutely, yep. Oh, it's and, an all-nighter. Uh, we will be there. You guys will be it's there. It's going to be amazing. They have some cool prizes to give away. I hear of an iPhone 3GS for the top fundraiser and some other cool VIP gifts. I mean, think about it. It's all night. You, all know, night. you have so many hours for so many unexpected things to happen. Exactly. So I, th I think it's pretty exciting. I think it's very... And a beautiful luminary cer ceremony. Da -da. Yeah. Finally, <laughs> tell us what your plans are for St. Patrick's Day, if they're PG. Want to begin? Um... Well, I remember last year I was completely sober. Oh. Well, I, it was like a group of girls and I. Ooh. We, um, we all, the only thing that we drank was Red Bull. And it was my first year, <laughs> uh, St. Patty's Day. So, like, even if, even in a giant kegger or wherever, where everybody is incredibly drunk and belligerent, I felt like I was the loudest one there. Yeah. People think, oh my gosh, you know, that alley, she's wasted or something like that. But <laughs> because I'm so, you know, hopped up on Red Bull that I'm the loudest one doing the craziest thing. You're bouncing off walls. I'm bouncing off walls. Bouncing I'll off tell walls. you, so, I bet yeah. there are people, you know, that's loud. I spent in grade 11, I went, I was in Dublin, Ireland on St. Patrick's oh Day. Oh my gosh. Okay? Wow. That is loud. That's it, insane. I, that I mean, must be it legitimate. Was, that's Nuts. everybody St. Patty's goal. Yes. Yeah. I, I didn't Patty's know there. it's possible to see so many drunk people in one place. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. And for myself, well, last year I had a really very cool hat I purchased at Mustang Alley. It was a uh, beer mug upside down on my head. But you weren't drinking beer, were you? No. Oh, absolutely not. No, no. I didn't. <laughs> please, Took a while to think of that please. answer. Never what, would I taste hops near my mouth. Any in the bad news. But I was walking around, I was decked down in green, and I did a little bit of a mini bar hop. All along Richmond. It was a lot of fun. And I hope to do the same thing this year. They uh, have me, green shirts outside. Well. And yourself? What about you guys? Um, I'm actually undecided at the moment. I always just enjoy observing uh, Richmond on I St. Mean, Patrick's Day. Do you guys do funny. the bar hop thing? Like the, the I pop did that crawl? last year. I'm still debating. Yeah. I have a feeling all of us will end up seeing each other. I'm oh, sure we will. It'll, it'll be, be, all be so, so it'll be excited. Exactly. It's a coherent state. It'll be an amazing day. <laughs> Entirely <Okay>. so. <laughs> Thank you guys for yeah, joining us. Thank you to all of our guests today. It has been a, uh, a lot of fun. Believe it or not, this is our second last episode. One more episode for us. Mm -hmm. uh, the show, I as we mentioned in the episode, will continue. Can you believe it? I, no, I can't. I know. I can't, because that also means the school year is ending really soon. It is. Wild. So look forward to that. Uh, remember, you can catch uh, our final show, 2 o'clock Thursday. The date is March 25th, I March believe. March 25th. Yeah. Uh, join us in this boat for our last taping. Uh, remember, you can catch our show online, tvwestern.ca. There you can find the link to our website and our podcast. Uh, and check out the radio show, 6.30 every Wednesday uh, on 94.9 CHRW. Thank you for being cozy with us this week, right here on the Big Purple Couch.